Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you my PS2 collection. So there is a lot of games here, a lot of games. There is one, two, three, four, five stacks plus loose games that I have right here. So let's start with the loose games. It's going to be a long video, guys, a long video. I had this console since day one when it came out. I remember getting the PS1 and then the PS2 came out not too long ago, so we traded in the PS1 to get the PS2. I don't know how much we traded it for. I don't know how much GameStop would give back then if they would give more money. But yeah, we ended up getting the PS2, and that is a console that I fell in love with. I didn't get the Xbox original till later on in its lifespan. I think like 2007, 2008. And when the PS3 and 360 came out, I got the 360, and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with that, and I love my Xbox. But I play all my consoles. I love every single console. I mean, they have great games for every console. They have a lot of exclusives for the PS4, but since I don't play it, I don't really get them. I'm hoping I'll find them at the flea market one day, but absolutely love every single console, guys. Yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that this was the console that won my heart. If it wasn't for this console, I don't think I would be playing video games. Honestly, if this, if I didn't have this console i don't think i would be playing video games anymore but this console was amazing and let's start with the loose discs like i said barbarian is the first one that i have for the ps2 i have a lot of loose discs i know so that is the first one next one is lethal skies 2 that i picked up at the flea market i picked up most of these games at the flea market so if they don't have manuals and they're scratched and you know why also i picked a lot of these up at gamestop this being one of them so flat out also, I really wanted to try it because I thought it was a cool game when the commercials came out. I thought it was so cool, so I picked that up. The next game is Red Faction. Picked that up at the flea market as well. Next game we have here is God of War. The next game is this. A lot of these games are also blue discs uh, along with the Barbarian game. That's also a blue disc. And I had a lot of trouble playing the blue discs on the fat PS2, but I eventually I ended up getting the slim PS2 and that read the blue discs better. So I have a slim PS2 only because it gives me less problems than the fat one does. So this is the last game that it does not have a case, but as you guys can see, it is very scratchy. I don't know if the PS2 will play it even though the PS2 is like a tank So I want to start off with the games in cases a lot of these games I also had downstairs because as you guys can see I don't really have a lot of room here I eventually want to get bigger cubes for this room, but till that happens these will continue to be downstairs so Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, a lot of these games I've had since day one as well, like I said. So a lot of these games are scratched only because my brother never put the games back in the cases. Never put the games back in the cases. So a lot of these are scratched, but the PS2 still reads them just fine. I'm just going to put them apart because there's a lot of games and I don't know if I'm going to have room to put them over here. So the next game is Dragon Ball Z Budokai. I did use this poster and put it up on my walls a couple times. So that is the next game. Like I said, some of these are pretty scratched. The Dragon Ball Z games are pretty scratched because my brother does love that game. Or he loved it when he was a kid. He loved the series. He also had toys. The next game is this. I remember picking this up at the flea market. <laughs> so yeah, this is the next game. Manual. Disc. Great. I haven't played that actually. And the next game is Manhunt. As you guys can see, I did print out the cover. I know, guys. So, yeah, it has the manual and the game, but I don't have the case for it. I have played it. I love that game. It is very scary, though. It is scary. PK Out of the Shadows. I don't really know why I picked this up. I've never played it before, but I just thought for the collection I guess so it has the little mail in ballot and it has the manual right there that'll probably be in my trade series that I'm planning on making another game that I picked up I don't even know why I believe it is scratched yes it is scratched so that is ultimate alliance 2 on the ps2 a game that I love on psp and ps2 I've played them both and I passed them both or I passed them on both consoles and that is Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Love, 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 love this game, guys. I love it. I also have a couple of cheat codes in here. I printed out on paper. 
and I have the memory card for this game. So uh, the memory card's in here because this the game is saved. This game is saved on that memory card, sorry. So the next game that I really, really, really love, and I used to use the Jetpack cheat code. So let me just fix this. I do have cheat codes. So let me show you the cheat codes. They're wrapped in tape, as you guys can see there, and those are all of the cheat codes. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's all of the cheat codes. And I also use the map on this, so it has holes in it, as you can see. This is the game. This is not the original game. I actually bought a game at the flea market. My game was pretty cracked from here, so I ended up buying a better copy and switching that copy out. I love this game, love it. But I got stuck on one part and I never passed the game. I got stuck on, I believe the guy's name is Z. It's the RC airplane mission that you have to do. I never passed it. It was so hard, I never passed it. I remember playing it like a couple years back, like six or seven years ago, trying to pass it again, or I don't know if it was that long ago, but I didn't pass it. It was so frustrating that I could have passed it so I never actually passed the whole game I got stuck on that one mission and I never played it again but I did buy that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the 360 so you could play that backwards compatible on the Xbox one so I do plan on streaming that on Twitch I don't know when but I do plan on streaming that on Twitch. So I have this game. I just opened it and I noticed that it's not in there. My brother has this game. Dang it. He all of a sudden likes 80s music. So he has this in the PS2. He's trying to pass it. I got Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas on the PS4. And he also was playing those on there. The next game is, I'm going to say my favorite in the series only because I played it and I loved it. And this was the first Grand Theft Auto game that I played. I also have cheat codes in here, but I'm just gonna tuck them back in there. Yeah, I have cheat codes back there, but I also used this poster. I kind of cut it in half, as you can see, to make this like candle holder up there. Yeah, I absolutely love this game and a lot of good memories, a lot of good memories. Another game that I remember playing versus with my brother, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. Surprised also that a lot of these also still have their manuals. I, I remember picking this up used at GameStop and it had the manual. So it's awesome when back then they wouldn't throw out manuals or cases, but now they do, like they don't care. So this is the next game, Dragon Ball Super. And it looks like on every single Dragon Ball Z game, it, there's the same back, just like a little story saying that this game is a little better and something like that. Yeah, like I said, uh, my brother was a very big fan. He used to watch the cartoons. He had the toys and we bought all the games for him. Dragon Ball Z Saga. I'm not gonna say we bought all the games, but my mom bought all the games for him because he loved Dragon Ball Z. I was a kid back then, so I couldn't afford the games. The next game is Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. I know a lot of Dragon Ball Z games, but I know there's a lot of you out there that love Dragon Ball Z. So my favorite character from Dragon Ball Z, I don't know about you, but it has to be Vegeta because he's a big softy, guys. He's just, he acts like he's all tough, but he's a big softy. So there we go. This is the next game, Lego Star Wars. I remember playing this also with my brother, two players. Loved it. Next game is Dance Dance Revolution. I remember getting this game with the dance pads. Now I don't have the dance pads anymore. That's the next game. Also, I do have the PlayStation Eye in the storage somewhere. Next game is Death Jam Vendetta. Here it is. I remember when I got this game, I thought it was the other game that's worth more, but it it's not so the next game is max Payne. absolutely love this series i did also print out the cover i love the max Payne series love it love it love it also why i love wet and i love stronghold i don't know what the name is called but uh john woo made the game for the xbox 360. so the next game is the hitman game absolutely love the hitman games so much i played them and passed them a couple of times the new one is out and I did pre-order it, but I didn't show it in my Thrift Trader Shop series because I had to do the video over and I forgot that that game was included. And uh, yeah, I left it out because I forgot to include it because I had put everything back already. I thought I was done recording, but the camera or the computer went to sleep and the camera stopped recording. So I forgot to include that, but I did get the new one. I have installed it, but I haven't played it. Hitman Contracts. This 
is the memory card in which this game is saved on. So that one, and I also have Hitman 2, Silent Assassins. That one doesn't have a manual. I don't know if that one had a manual or not. Absolutely love the Hitman games. A game which was supposed to be in the Grand Theft Auto games and wasn't. Also, I did pin this on my wall. It has a little hole right here. So I liked it. I would say it's my least favorite game only because it's, I, I believe it was trying too much. Like they had so much success with Vice City that they wanted to make a Vice City stories. And that's kind of weird because I really love Liberty City stories. And I know it's like in the same place and stuff, but yeah, I didn't really like this game as much as, you know, all the other Grand Theft Auto games. Let me know what your least favorite Grand Theft Auto game is. So that one was my least favorite Grand Theft Auto game. Also because I didn't play it so much. The next game is Downhill Domination. I picked this up at the flea market. That's why it's in like this white case or a Wii case, I guess. The next game is Splinter Cell Double Agent. And that, yeah, I knew it had the manual because it felt a little heavy. So that is the next one. I believe I picked this up at the flea market, so I haven't played it. I'm going to stop stacking games on this little tower because they, they're all messed up. The next game is this. I picked it up at the flea market. I believe it was last year. As you guys can see, it has a couple scratches. I never played it. I might put that up for trade in the new trade series, like I said. The next game is Tenchu. There we go. It has the manual and the game. I did have this, but it was really scratched, so I decided, or I think I picked up another copy at the flea market. Also, sorry for these games being so dusty, but a lot of these games haven't been played in years, guys, years. The next game is 007 Night Fire. There we go, manual and game. Always great to have manual and game inside. Next game is 007 Everything or Nothing. I was gonna say nothing or everything, and this game is missing a little clip right there so there we go i believe i picked that up at the flea market but i'm not very sure next game is destroy all humans there it is i remember having this game we traded in our fat ps2 into gamestop and my brother left the copy of destroy all humans inside and he loved that game he would play that game all the time and uh we had to get another copy of that game. So the next game is Lego Batman, but it also has a copy of Lego Star Wars Trilogy in there. So I picked this up with the old man. I don't know if you remember, but the old man that I used to dig through DVDs, games, and CDs. And this was already in there, so I picked it up. The next game is Ratchet. Ratchet. All right. I haven't played this game. Uh, the last Ratchet and Clank game that I played was on the PS3. It was a free one that they gave with PlayStation Plus. So Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. I believe this one was on the PSP, if I'm not mistaken. I think I played it on there, but I don't know if it was that one or not. The next game is Star Wars Force Unleashed, and that game is in there. Some of these games are duplicated, like this one, I have this one. So one of these copies is up for trades, Dark Angel, which I picked up for a dollar, I believe. The next game is Kingdom Hearts, so there we go. Also, I believe this game is up for trades. I have, uh, yeah, this game is up for trades. It's pretty, it's in pretty good condition. I don't know if you guys remember when I picked that up. The next game is Naruto. There we go. It doesn't have a manual. It's very noisy when it doesn't have a manual. The next game is this. I don't believe it has the manual in it, but it does have the disc inside. I picked it up at the flea market, guys. The next game is SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. My brother, I don't remember what game my brother wants. He doesn't want the SpongeBob movie game. He doesn't want this game, but he wants another game. But I forgot what the name of it was. Yeah, I picked that up and that wasn't even the game that he wanted to play. So the next game is Rogue Ops. Have not played it. The next game is World Destruction League Thunder Tanks. There we go. So this video is up to 21 minutes, guys. Dang, and I'm not, it's not even halfway. I'm not even halfway done, guys. This video is gonna be super long. So the next game is Tomb Raider Anniversary. And that is complete, as you guys can see there. Not sure how much I picked that up for, but I picked that up recently. The next game is Midnight Club 2. 
Uh, I have not played this game, but I did pick it up at the flea market as well. The next game is Minority Report. Picked it up not too long ago at the flea market. The next game is another copy of Vice City. What? Okay, yeah, I did pick this up recently at the flea market. Well, I guess I should have this. No, but... I have one copy and my brother has one copy because he always comes and takes my stuff. So the next copy is another duplicate San Andreas. Like I said, I I believe I also traded the, yeah, I changed the disc on this one too. But it has a, a map in it, so it's fine. So this is not my copy. My copy was the other one that I showed you. And this is this one than the copy that I picked up at the flea market. The next game is Enter the Matrix. I'm trying so hard not to sneeze. There is so much dust on these games. So if you see me like tear up or something, I really am holding in the sneeze. There's so much dust. Yeah, Enter the Matrix is the next game that I have. The next game is True Crime Streets of LA. I'm gonna move the mouse so the monitor doesn't fall asleep. True Crime Streets of LA, love this game. Like I said, I don't know if you guys watched the video, but I would wait in the car until a certain song came on and then I would uh, go do what I had to do. And then if I went back in the car and the song was on, I couldn't get back out until I heard the song. I don't know why, but yeah. Okay, so the next song, or song, are you serious? The next game is Star Wars Battlefront 2. This game is pretty scratched, but it is up for trades if you guys have a machine that can fix this and wouldn't mind trading it. Like I said, I need to make that trade video sometime soon. The next game is this, which I believe, I believe it's pronounced Inuyasha. I have not played it. I've heard it's good. So uh, I picked it up because it's kind of like, it reminds me of Dragon Ball Z and you guys know how much I love those games. So Street Fighter Anniversary is the next game. A subscriber sent me this, very thankful. I have played it a little bit. The next game is The Getaway. So there we go. Also, it had like a Friars a receipt in there in the back. The next game is this Cold Sep or Cold S yeah, Cold Sep. It doesn't have the manual, but it has the game. I believe a subscriber sent me that as well. The next game is Rumble Roses, which has a protector on the back is um, i believe that's what i'm gonna call it it's a protector it has a protector on the disc it's so hard to take it off with the protector but yeah there's a protector there we go a plastic protector it is scratched so i don't know why they would put that on there but yeah rumble roses haven't played that the next game is street nba street and it has the manual and the game all the sports games seem to have the manual the next game is blood rain there we go. So I had this game, but my copy was very scratched. So I ended up picking this up at the flea market. So that was pretty cool. Next game also should have been in the Dragon Ball Z game. So I don't even know what, what? I have this copy and this copy in there. Okay. So, I mean this ma manual and the other manual. So yeah, I have this game. It is a bit scratched. It has been resurfaced. We picked it up at GameStop way back when it came out like pre-owned of course i also printed out the cover art for that the next game we have is star wars battlefront 2 another copy okay i believe this copy is also scratched let's see yeah very scratched so this game is also up for trade the next game is star wars force unleashed there we go. Star Wars games. I don't know why I pick them up if I don't play them. I've played all the Lego Star Wars games. Love those. The next game is Blitz the League. There we go. This is the next game is Virtual Fighter 4. Virtua Fighter. I said Virtual Fighter. The next game is Devil May Cry 3. Disc Manual great the next game is naruto ultimate ninja like i said my brother loves the naruto games so i decided to pick them up for him next game oh we have a duplicate of tenchu there we go and it has a big old blockbuster sticker on the front of it the next game is kingdom hearts i believe i already showed you a copy of this but i'm not really sure it is very scratched i picked it up at the flea market the next game is midnight club street racing and geez look look at this case look at this this gamestop case it's one of those cheap ones 
All right, so yeah, this is the next game. Now I can't even close it. So Midnight Street Racing. I don't know if you saw the disc or not. So. The next game is State of Emergency. I remember playing this game with my cousin or at my cousin's house. And I picked this up at the flea market not too long ago. A Rockstar game. I liked it. I liked it back when I played it when I was a kid. So the next game is Dynasty Warriors 3. I'm not sure if I showed you this or not. But uh, that's what the disc looks like. I thought if... I thought it was like not the right disc because it's such a different color, but I guess that's just how it looks. The next game that I have is Black. I remember getting this at GameStop when they had all the PS2 games on clearance. That, I remember picking that up and only because my brother wanted it. So the next game is Star Wars Battlefront and that is the first one. I have the manual for the Xbox one in here. I don't know why, but I do. This is the next game, Final Fantasy X. Not sure what number that is. Roman numerals. I think it's 10, but I could be wrong. The next game, I'm just going to pull this. All right, so the next, the, we're on the last stack, but there's, there's a lot of games left. So the next game is Yu-Gi-Oh! As you guys can see here, it does have the manual in the game. I picked this up because one of you suggested I pick it up at the flea market. So the next game is Baller's Dark Alliance. I do have the greatest hits empty case for this game. And there is the game. A subscriber sent me that, so thank you very much. Wild Arms 3, another subscriber sent me this. Or I don't know if it was the same one actually, but I know a subscriber sent me this, guys. So, Game and Manual, have not played it. Constantin, a subscriber sent me this. Obscure, the Aftermath is the next game that is in there. Also, I remember getting this game. I Walmart used to have these things where they used to bundle three games together. And we used to buy those a lot, so I think these two were bundled together with another game. It was like a horror kind of bundle pack. Yeah, let me know if you guys remember that or not. And a lot of those games that were bundled together, though, were blue discs. They were blue discs, so a lot of those games didn't play. And since they didn't play, we thought they didn't work, so we traded in it traded them in at GameStop but like I said I was a kid I didn't know back then guys the next game is a duplicate that I have Dark Angel the next game is Bully a subscriber sent me this it has a map and everything I would put it up I don't really have room on my walls anymore so uh yeah I did play that on 360 because I got it on special it was pretty fun it was a little frustrating at some points so Gradius is the next game that I have the next game is not so caliber 3 it's actually another copy of Kingdom Hearts I did not know that I guess I left it in this case the next game is the Godfather limited edition game so here is the box here is the game it also comes with this little thing this is the back of it and the front I, I don't know if this is a map it probably is i haven't opened it so it has two discs in it one is a bonus disc so i haven't played that either guys the next game i have is outlaw tennis which i picked up at the flea market as well it has the mail-in little card in the manual which is pretty cool so the next game that i have is hurdy gurdy i've seen this game a couple of times this I need to change the case on this because the clip is broken. I picked it up at the flea market and I also picked up a copy at Ga or Goodwill. I was going to say GameStop. I also have a copy of Vex. So when I picked up this copy, I also picked up this copy. I believe they were like $5 a piece. And there was a memory card in here when I picked this copy up. So for $5, I think that was a good deal. So manual, game, and yes. So this is the next game that I got. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I haven't played it. I haven't played most of these games. But some of them I have because, you know, I've had them since I was a kid. So Hot Shots Golf is the next game. And it has the manual and disc. But I guess because only... It's a sports game. All right, so the next game is Splashdown Ride Wild Gone, or Rides Gone Wild, sorry. And there it is, it also has the manual and disc. The next game is Naruto. The next game is another Naruto game, and that is this one. The next game is a good one, Crash. I picked this up because my brother wanted a Crash game, but he never ended up playing this one. He actually wants the collection that's on PS4, and I mean, I'll eventually get it. It's a little, it's still priced pretty high, so eventually when it goes down, I'll get it. 
same goes with this the collection for spyro i'll eventually get it i just don't i i don't plan on buying it anytime soon right now only because you know it's still pretty high up there so i have that copy and this copy is complete so that is awesome but i also did pick this up at goodwill so back when goodwill had the 3.99 right now they're at 5.99 they used to be at $6.99, so they lowered it down to $1. I thought they were going to lower it down even more because they still have games at my local Goodwill that have been there for months now, but they're not pricing them down. So $5.99 is the cheapest at my local Goodwill. So this Spyro game is the next game that I have. I know another Spyro game that is also cracked from the disc, I believe. NBA Street another one of these games my brother really likes these so that's why i picked it up and the last and final game is time crisis crisis zone and that doesn't have a manual it just has the disc but that is the last game the camera right now says 39 minutes guys 39 minutes it'll be cut down but i don't know if it'll go down significantly it'll probably be 30 to 35 minutes this video a lot of games let me know what your favorite game was from this whole collection that i just showed you let me know what your favorite game for the ps2 is and like i said the ps2 was just so many memories with my little brother playing these games thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos if you want to follow me on twitter instagram or facebook the links will be down below in the description happy hunting until next time guys i'll see you in my next video